As Thailand reports another six patients thought to be afflicted with the coronavirus, that's just 14 so far. Much is already being done here to prevent the passing on of the flu virus that is making headlines globally. Malls, some entertainment venues, shops and other popular facilities are all promising regular disinfection procedures. And locally, private schools are deep cleaning and disinfecting school buses daily. Thailand is just one of now 18 countries reporting the virus and no one here has died from it. Wearing a mask, many say, can help prevent the spread. However, washing your hands regularly can be equally protective. As a flu, it's annoying, with the usual cough, cold and fever, along with limb pains. But for those with respiratory problems already, it can cause more problems and could need hospitalisation. As we've been saying all week, if you do suspect for any reason that you have the virus, call ahead to the hospital, so that you can arrange to be received in an orderly manner without risk to patients or staff. In other news, the Cabinet has approved plans to remove cannabis from the narcotics list of banned drugs. This according to a spokesman yesterday. That will eventually allow Thais and companies with a majority ownership by Thais to apply for licences. They'll be needed to grow the weed. And it isn't a carte blanche for everyone to plant a few in their garden. Once permitted, individuals or juristic entities can produce, sell, possess, import or export hemp. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, as we reported yesterday, water supplies to much of the city will be cut off this morning, perhaps for 24 hours. This is the water company carries out essential repairs. We can expect supplies back on by tomorrow morning at the latest. Unlike condos, most homes have tanks, usually larger than a thousand litres, so they should remain unaffected and condos themselves often have storage tanks on the roof too. Rumours that two tourists in the city have shown symptoms similar to the new flu virus have not been confirmed, despite hot gossip in the city that the unnamed Chinese visitors had been isolated. Businesses for sure are suffering around the area as many see a decline in numbers visiting discos through to go-kart tracks. A lot of this, we're told, is panic. Hotels, though, are expecting extreme declines in Chinese overnighters as tour companies have been ordered to stop travel by the Chinese government. Some larger events are still planned to take place, though, with checks on entries and medics on site. The Mayor Music Festival goes ahead this weekend and, we're told, the three-day Bikers Music Rally will also go ahead at the middle of next month. When the Loft Pub at Mapuchan Lake posted their Brexit Friday buffet advert on our Facebook and others, It caused quite a stir, not just because of the low price and the list of British fare, but because one poster took it upon himself to berate both the pub and ourselves for celebrating what he sees as a mistake. He took a caning on the Facebook page and wrote to us to complain of his treatment, and of course to tell us that we were wrong to carry the ad. Well, Mr Searle, you may have failed to persuade a whole nation to agree with you, but Tony, the boss at the loft, is a sympathetic chap and has offered you, just you, a free dinner on Friday night in the hope that it consoles your pain. For the rest of us, a full buffet of traditional British food is on offer for one night only for just 200 baht. Now that's a Brexit buster. And with the Met Office promising highs today of 30, dropping down to 23, maybe showers later, but a hot and sunny day. That is the local and national news from Fab FM. For videos and, of course, to keep up with Fabulous Patia, visit alwayspatia.com.